What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 22nd Java tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about for loop. Now the last um, couple tutorials I've been going over while loops. And this was a different loop but a for loop is something totally new. So let me show you guys what the syntax for this is. Go ahead and type for and as you can see it pops up in purple and that's why you know it's a built in variable or excuse me a built in keyword. And the for loop takes three arguments or three statements inside it. The first one is where you want the loop to start. The second one's where you want the loop to end. And the third one is how much you want to increment it by. So if you want to um, step one at a time or three at a time. So let me show you guys. You need three. You need to use the variable three times. So the first statement, you want to initialize a counter variable. And let's go ahead and set it equal to one. And this is because we want our loop to start at the number one. The next one is the same thing you did in the while loop. It's the loop condition. So let's go ahead and put counter less than or equal to 10. So now our loop starts at one and it's gonna go until it's less than or equal to 10. So it's gonna go until 10. So next thing, um, we wanna say how much do we want our counter to increment by? Well, we just want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we want to increment it one at a time. So it's going to start at 1. As long as it's less than or equal to 10, it's going to keep going. And we want you to go one at a time. So that's the three parameters your for loop takes. So now let's go ahead and write something in our for loop. Let's just write system out print line. And we'll just print the counter counter now let's go ahead and run this see if we got any errors and we don't and as you can see down in our run box one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and again this happened because it started at one our counter variable the next thing it did is ran until it was greater or equal excuse me less than or equal to ten once it got to eleven it says alright am I greater or excuse me am I less than or equal to ten no so I'm not going to do this loop anymore. And then I incremented it one at a time. You can also increment it like something like three at a time by pressing plus equals three. Remember we learned that in uh, one of the previous tutorials. Now, once you change the incrementer, instead of stepping by one, it steps by three at a time. One, four, seven, ten. The next one's thirteen, which um, is outside our condition, so it proves false. But again, we can change the starting point. Say we wanted to start it at 6 and go until, uh, let's say, 21. So now it starts at 6 and goes to 21 and steps by 3s. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and then it stops. So that is how you use the basics of the for loop. Again, it takes three um, statements or parameters. The first one is where you want to start. The second one's where you want to end or it's going to run as long as this condition is true. And the third one is how much you want to increment by. So this is a variation. Um, there's also the while loop and the for loop we learned this far. There's also a couple other loops that I'm going to be teaching you probably in the next couple tutorials. But for now, play along with the... Pre What's it called? Play around there we go not play along with it play around with a for loop until you get good at it and uh, once you do you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so again thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time